Hello everyone. Hope everyone have a wonderful day today. Um, hope everything went great. That you're feeling wonderful. That you still have a function of your limbs and you're feeling great. Today's Last Supper is pebbles, rocks, and stones. Pebbles, rocks, and stones. What, what does that mean? Okay. In our lives, the devil is always throwing some. Let's consider our, our, our bodies or our temples as, as a piece of glass, okay? A glass house, a glass temple, if you want to call it a glass temple. Now, the devil throws little pebbles at that every day. Little pebble could be lies. It could be envy or jealousy from someone else throwing little pebbles. They turn into rocks when the problem gets bigger. A pebble turns into a rock when it becomes like maybe your your if your if your parent, your son or your daughter starts acting up or you're having problems with a coworker or something. It becomes a stone, like if you're having problems at your job or with your spouse or Something like that. So it starts out as a pebble. So the devil's always throwing uh, evil. The evil principalities are always throwing pebbles at us. Now, if we let that escalate into rocks and stones, we should cut it off when it's a pebble. Because that means it's something small. Pray against it right there. Ask God to take this pebble away. Do not let this grow into a rock or a stone. So if we are on guard, on that, where we keep ourselves guarded by prayer and fasting, then they won't escalate into rock and stones. So for us, we have to be careful. We just really have to be careful because a pebble won't hurt. It's just some little lie or something or, or something that, that doesn't stick. When it turns into a rock, it's something a little harder, something a little harder in our life that uh, We've been betrayed or something. And, and it's something that's hard to forget or forgive. And when it becomes a stone, it's something that just turns you away from the Lord. It could be your spouse cheating on you. It could be you lost this job that you had. You was expecting a promotion or, or, or your finances just went from being great to non-existing. Those are things you have to guard against with prayer and fasting. Let them stay pebbles. No matter, as, as long as we on this earth, evil principalities are going to throw pebbles at us every single day. Whether we see them or not, they're there. We cannot let those escalate into rocks and stones. Those are the ones that hurt us because those are the ones that get us to start doubting God and start thinking, well, you know, where is he? Why come he's not protecting me from this? I pray, I fast. Yeah, but we have to do it wholeheartedly and sincerely. You can pray and fast all you want, but if you're not doing it wholeheartedly and sincerely, you might as well stop. These are things that you have to believe in. If you're going to pray and fast, you must believe that God has the power to do what you're praying and fasting for. So let's not let our pebbles grow into rocks and definitely not into stones. Pray for each other. Wish each other well. Check on each other. That's the only way we're going to make it here. We can't make it by ourselves. First we need the Lord. Then we need each other. God bless you every second, every minute, every hour of every day.